Henry Cavill's new action movie has slow start at box office, but could still be a hit. Henry Cavill's The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare has a slow start at the box office. Directed, written, and produced by Guy Ritchie, the movie's cast included Cavill, Alan Rich's son, Isa Gonzalez, and more. It is based on Damien Lewis Churchill's Secret Warriors and takes place during World War II. The movie comes just months after Cavill's $200 million Argyle release, which earned a mere $96 million at the box office and became an immediate disaster. On the other hand, the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare reviews have been generally positive. According to a report by Deadline, the movie should gross just $8.7 million through the weekend. With a budget of $60 million, that total means that the movie will struggle to achieve profitability during its theatrical run. It came in at fourth at the box office, behind Civil War, Abigail, and Godzilla x Kong, The New Empire, which is in its fourth week. Slow starts have also been consistent for Ritchie. Guy Ritchie's The Covenant and Operation Fortune, Ruse de Guerre were both box office failures in 2023. The Covenant earned $21.8 million against a budget of $55 million, while Operation Fortune earned $49 million on a $50 million budget. Ungentlemanly Warfare could become the third straight Ritchie movie to fail to earn its budget back at the box office, but this latest movie could still benefit when it comes to streaming. Additionally, no major movies are releasing next week, which could help Ungentlemanly Warfare increase its rank at the box office. Despite the box office update, there is still a chance for a strong recovery for the collaborators Cavill and Ritchie. The pair will be reuniting for the 2025 movie In the Grey, which is another action movie starring Cavill and directed by Cavill. It will likely be the next release for both of them, so the director and actor will need it to succeed. Still, there is no reason to set aside the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare as a failure. The strong reviews and next weekend's potential could help it secure a strong place at the final 2024 box office.